Hi, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Candace McCool, and this is the second video in our training a service dog for my daughter, Logan. Now, right now, Logan is five years old. She uses a wheelchair. She has spina bifida, which leaves her paralyzed from the waist down. We decided to get her a service dog to help her just with the mobility issues, transfers, reaching light switches, being able to pick things up off of the ground for her when she drops it. But ex service dogs are expensive. And instead of waiting and hoping that we had one that was hypoallergenic that had the temperament and having to wait years and years, we decided to go ahead and get a puppy. We decided on a Australian Labradoodle and named her Shiloh. And we are going to train her ourselves. Very exciting, but also very stressful. <laughs> and so right now we are focusing on obedience training and just bonding with Shiloh right now. Um, and so for the next few clips, you're gonna be able to see just really the last two weeks, what we've been able to accomplish with Shiloh, what all we are doing to help create a puppy that has patience, which I feel like is an oxymoron. I feel like that's almost an impossible task, but that is what we're up against. And that's what our goal is, is to increase patience as far as crate training, sitting, waiting patiently, and so far so good as you will see. Now I'm going to tell you right now, I am not doing this all on my own. I am using something called Baxter and Bella Online Puppy Program. It is an online training program that teaches you as an owner how to train your puppy. It goes from basic obedience and bonding all the way up to the advanced levels. They don't specifically have a service dog training program. However, the creator of this program, her name is Amy, she said that because she is a service dog trainer, I can meet one-on-one -on -one with her and whatever I want to teach Shiloh, she will tell me how to do that. So I feel like it's a really great program because you have just one time payment and it lasts for the lifetime of your puppy. So all of my ideas, all of the training that I'm doing all came from Baxter and Bella. So if you want to check them out, I highly recommend them. I don't get any kind of reimbursement for saying that. I just really truly believe in this program. One of the things that they have that I love is printables so that I can actually see what we're doing. I don't know if you can see this, but what we are doing a curriculum checklist week by week. And then we have right here what we should be doing from lesson to lesson. Not only that, but I have a house training checklist. So I record every time that Shiloh has to go out, whether she pees, she poops, or whether she just plays and I took her out for no reason. And then that way I get a better understanding of what her bowel and bladder schedule is. On another page, we have a master practice checklist. And so right now I haven't really done a whole lot with this because we've been a lot, we've been doing a lot with bonding, but I've checked off a couple of things that we've been working on and you can actually see. So like you have a teach it, name it, lose the lure, which is where you take the treat and lure them into whatever position that you want. And then generalized meaning, can they do it in multiple places? And you check off every time that your dog is able to accomplish one of the uh, tricks or training methods. Another thing that I love, because Shiloh is gonna be a service dog, we need to socialize her early and get her just around a multitude of different environments, different people, sounds, all of that good stuff. And they actually have a master socialization checklist. So we've been going through this and I've also been keeping a record on my phone, what we do from day to day, so that I can keep up with what experiences has Shiloh been through. We've been through um, a car wash and she did great with the loud noises. Taking her to the gym, she did great with the dropping of the weights and the slam balls. So I don't think sounds are gonna be a major issue. We did come across a little bit of something that made her anxious, which was the harmonica of all things. My daughter had picked up her harmonica. She went to town on it and it just was not Shiloh's cup of tea. So we 
desensitized her by doing a little bit of the harmonica and treating her and loving on her. And then she also saw her reflection and she started barking at that. So we've done some desensitizing for that as well. Um, so far, so good. Uh, she actually went to my daughter's swimming lessons and she sat so perfectly at my feet, even laid down at times, was very calm, cool, collective. Everybody that passed by in a wheelchair or a walker or any other kind of mobility device, she was spot on, just looked up at them, but did not move. And that is what you want in a service dog. So for her to do that at only nine weeks, because this was last week, I think is amazing. And I was super proud of her. And of course I was super proud of my daughter because she was learning how to float on her back and uh, be able to put her face in the water, which is something that we've been working towards. So all in all, that was a great day because we had also gone to her horseback riding lessons. Now, right now I cannot take Shiloh around the horses. Once she's certified, then we can start taking her up there and seeing how the horses deal with her. But they obviously for safety reasons, do not want Shiloh around the horses, especially during training um, and when there are students up there. And so we sat pa patiently in the car, tried the back seat, but ooh, all of that green area at the, that they had in the field was just too much for Shiloh. She wanted to get out there and play. So I wound up putting her in our little mesh car uh, holder and she wound up falling asleep. So she did really well with that as well. And then um, we came back to the house and played before we actually went to um, her swimming lessons. And so that was a really long day, but it was definitely the highlight of my week because it just showed all of the things that we've been doing with Shiloh is really paying off. So right now, I train with Shiloh about three to four times a day. I use a plethora of snacks. I use cheese as her number one fave. I can pretty much get her to do anything for a piece of cheese. We use hot dogs. My daughter's allergic to pork, so we use turkey hot dogs. And it's a teeny tiny little, little sliver. And then I also picked up some small dog food that is like chicken, made out of chicken. It has like some cranberry and carrots and things like that in there. And I use that as well. And then for something crunchy, we use Honey Nut Cheerios. And so I basically just kind of mix match and she never knows which treat she's gonna get when she does these things, but she knows how to sit. She knows how to touch my hand. She knows how to look up at me when I say her name, Shiloh, and she is working on being able to stay, wait, um, which is gonna be coming in very handy here shortly. Come around here. Sit. Yes. Touch. Yes. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Shayla. Yes. Good job. Wait. Yes. Good job. Touch. Yes. Beautiful, good girl. When it comes to potty time, we're teaching her how to ring the bells. That's right now, it's hit or miss. I think she's a little confused and she just rings it um, when I don't prompt her, when she just wants to go outside and play because she loves being outside. This girl loves mud. Oh my goodness, April showers has been a total fiasco because she loves to get in mud puddles. So right now, that's what we're dealing with. That, I think things are going really well. Um, she has started to bark a little bit more than what we would want her to. And so we are troubleshooting on what can we do prior to her barking that will eliminate her wanting to bark and even the, the circumstances surrounding the bark. And so that's the main thing that we're focusing on right now. Next time you hear from me, we are actually doing a little socialization tool and I got an idea off of YouTube and I'm super excited about it. And leave in the comments what you think I'm gonna be doing with this swimming pool. I will give you a hint, it does not involve water. So until next time, again, my name is Candace McCool. You can follow our journey on my Instagram page if you'd like, candacemccool.fit. Thanks so much for joining us. See you next time.